Hi everyone. Today I'm going to uh, teach you about how to learn vocabulary. So in English, vocabulary is so important. The more you learn a lot of vocabulary and the more you remember, you can speak a lot. You can say whatever you want to say because of the vocabulary. So vocabulary, you can build from one sentence, one word to the sentence, sentence to the phrase, phrase to the story. So today, how to learn vocabulary effectively. So this slide and this video will help you to learn more. Okay, learning language is to communicate one another, to communicate well need to build the vocabulary for connection from one thing to other. These are the way to help you to learn vocabulary. And this is the way that you can see. Okay, so number one here. So number two, using gesture and action. So gesture and action. So when we don't know the word, we can use our gest gesture or our body, our action. And we also, we call TPR to learn this style. So this we call mime. It's not talk, just only uh, do the action. Gesture, show the action. And uh, facial expression so show your face like example happy or angry something like that we just we can show our face do motion or action so any word or any vocabulary that we can uh, use the gesture if we don't understand in your language and we can translate just only uh, through our action, through our motion or gesture or mind. And one more, how do you learn this uh, technique? We need to repeat, like repeating words. Like teachers say the word and you need to repeat and listen to the teacher very carefully because you never hear the sound and when you heard the teacher say, you just take note it and repeat after if you have to record you can record it's my solution so spelling words spelling word is also important we do not learn just only communication by oral but we need to uh, communicate through our writing too for especially this uh, technology and this time is a modern technology so before they use internet Facebook something like that they read and they write okay so we can move to the next so it's mixing number two using picture so why we need to use picture so learning a foreign language or learn English we need to use a picture for the beginner student need to learn vocabulary by using picture. Picture help them to remember the words and understand the meaning of the word. So teacher no need translation a lot because the picture can carry thousand thousand meaning and the picture can help the student to understand and remember remember the word just when they see the picture and why I say this so because of uh, when you take you show the picture and they take a picture in their mind so they start uh, emerging they start see the picture in their mind so how to do more real object so we can use the real object for example phone or computer or fan or thing in school like ruler book something like that just show the real object and ask them to read and repeat after you and spell the word and make something with the verb 
words or with the words or with the object that you show them. Draw a picture is the one way that we can teach the student vocabulary too. So you draw a picture, example you draw an apple or you draw a book, you draw a bicycle or something like that and say the word it out. So students, they know what is it and they uh, can catch what you uh, ask them to repeat so they remember too. And word picture. Word picture is also very important. So the word picture, like the picture have all meaning inside it. And point to the picture. So point to the picture when, for example, you see the dog, you want to take the picture of dog, you just point to the dog and say, this is a dog. And when you say, uh, you take them a phone and you, show, you say, this is a, a phone, you just only use your finger or tool, point to the word or to the picture. It's help you much easier. Okay, go to number three, words in context. So what does it mean, word context in here? So word in context, for example, you take Voc uh, vocabulary in the story or in the film or dialogue conversation something like that we use all those words inside the context so conversation we need the word okay role play so role play the story use the same word over and over can help the student to remember and help the student to learn the new vocabulary fast drama like play the same and also story so read the story in the story have the vocabulary the student can know the student they can highlight they can rewrite from uh, the new words as well from the book and rhyme and poem it is a good technique too like uh, the word so rhyme for example Red, ra, ran, something like that is a is, is a rhyme and poem. Okay, and video. So video it also a uh, very good tool, a good uh, material for learning or teaching a language, especially for English. English is so so modern language so we need to learn through different modern technology as well we move to the next line number four other techniques what is other technique in here so one more technique you use dictionary dictionary also helps when you study at home you study with your friend or teacher dictionary can help you uh, to read the meaning, the dictionary can uh, explain or give you some sentence as well. Especially in this present, they have uh, technology through the internet or uh, you can use the, your iPhone or your phone, mobile phone. It's also you can install dictionary and has pronunciation, you can listen also. It's good for dictionary. Another point, explanation. Teacher, take the word and to do the explanation or explaining. So explanation or explaining here, it's meant to help the student to hear more, hear more your vocabulary and hear more uh, what you, you say and explain them. They can pick up this meaning. Another one, describe. Just only you see the only the blank paper or just only the paper without word or uh, just only the picture without anything. So you just ask them to use their imagination. So uh, for example, uh, in this picture I see two men and he maybe he want to go shopping something like that and uh, he want to buy some food for his family for his child just only predict this so describe all like activity describe classroom thing in classroom describe along the way they come to school so it's a way they can help a teacher to move to help the student to learn fast as well and for this did 
defining the contact it means we need to clarify the meaning in the contact as well not just only read but we need to clarify or the last technique here translate and drill words for drill word it's it's much easy and like the student they love to drill for example i say i go to school and see we can change on just on the pronoun say she go to school he goes to school they go to school we go to school you go to school just only change the subject pronoun or you keep the same subject pronoun and you just change the object so example i i go to school i go to hospital i go to uh, uh, market something like that so we can change any place that you can change so this drill is so important as well okay move to number five memorize and games this technique very special and very very important why i say very important because some book did not yet write about uh, memorize and games something like this technique so give direction so teacher give direction how to do it how to to memorize or how to play games and picture direction do not say anything just only show the picture and they follow the picture matching word so also it's kind of a competition or challenging to match the word and word or match the word and picture match the word and the meaning okay label words so example like a part of body so we can say label on the hand foot head teeth eyes stomach something like that so can label the word so this is a way that we can have the student to learn the vocabulary and sequencing word so uh, start to ex extend it the word more guessing word so just let them guess it's not matter even right or wrong just let them guess and eliminate words don't use the word too much just eliminate and in the short word or simple word Cl clarifying words we need to clarify or classify like a group of words something like that so we just do this and so this is the review like review games word search game it's a game that can help you a clue picture labels crossing word or crossword bingo you can play bingo or puzzle and chat also way for their peer so we write a survey and help them to survey the peer their partner or their student okay so for learning vocabulary Today, I think it's time for me to the end. So, thank you so much for watching it. Please subscribe it when you watch and share to your friend. Goodbye.